your rights. Asante Governor, Askofu Mkuu, viongozi wote wa kanisa na members wa kanisa wote. God is good. And all the time. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, our Prime Cabinet Secretary, our Governor, my colleague, Wahapa Nairobi, Viongozi, uh, Majority Leaders, our Senate and the National Assembly, all the members of the National Assembly, as well as the Senate. Um, Mimi Askofu Mku, Nimefurai Sana Pia Kuwa na Leo. It was really just exciting Kuwa in this worship space today. Na ile pia umetusomea makes a lot of sense. Na pia wacha niwe ni kuambia santi kwa kutuombea pia kama viongozi. Wakati huu maneno haijakuwa raisi sana. But as you have said, tunataka a peaceful and united Kenya. Na nikiangalia kila mutu na nikisikia kila mtu venye ameongea wale wote wameongea leo. Everybody is there. You are preaching to the choir. You are preaching to the converted. Sisi wote, we want a united Kenya, a peaceful Kenya, kama uko Nairobi, kama uko Vihiga, kama uko Nyeri, kama uko Nakuru, kama uko Kakamega, wherever you are in this republic, that is what we want. So your excellency, the, prop, the president, tunakushukuru for bringing the country together. Sasa ni wakati wakufanya kazi, wakati wa siyasa sasa tuache uko nyuma, uh, skofu mkuu venye ulisema, there is definitely going to be times of turbulence, but God is always there. And I believe, Your Excellency, we have gone now past the turbulence, and now we are ready to work. Kabisa. Uh, let me add, Your Excellency, my voice to the femicide issue that is happening in the country right now. Your Excellency, I wish you would declare it a national crisis. Kwa sababu wale wa mama wamewawa in this year alone, ni jambo hatujawa yona. And especially vile wanawawa. Even I believe last night we saw something that as, as a people hatujawa yona. You know what woni hatujawa yona mahali mtu anachemusha mwili ya binadamu. You know, so it is really not okay, Your Excellency. To Nataka, you weep to shape, uh, be it the security agencies that are supposed to be dealing with these issues. To Nataka, kuona the perpetrators of femicide brought to book. Any other life lost is one life too many, and we cannot afford that. And as our sisters are being murdered, our children are being murdered, our mothers and our wives, Your Excellency, hatuwezi kuendelea kunyamaza. Lakini as others have said, we need the men to join as women and bring your voice as well to help us end this. Na vile tumesema, watoto wako nyumbani saizi. Let us as parents keep a watchful eye on our children and especially our girls. But also, your excellency, kuna shida kidogo pia kwa wavijana. They may not be being murdered, but there is a lot of bad things that are happening as well. Kwa hivyo kama kanisa askofu mkuu, na ningetaka tu kuuliza muendele kutuombe as a nation. So that hii roho ya ushetani, ata hiyo ikuje, yani hiyo riswa kabisa for that roho. Yende kabisa. Because we, we are Africans, we have not seen this. Not that it is acceptable anywhere, but it is a, a phenomenon. Yenye tunaona hatujaona. And for the men, perhaps, there is a problem. Maybe we empowered the girl child and we must never blame, blame the victim. And the men don't know how to deal with the girls. I don't know what the problem is, but for sure there is a problem. There is a crisis. Your Excellency, help us, help us get our girls safe. Tunaogopa hata kutoka kwa nyumba, jioni. Tumeona hata zingine where somebody comes into a house at 4 p.m. Mchana, and they come and uh, abuse or, or assault. Uh, the, the girl in the house. So your excellency, mimi sita pitisha hapo, lakini as a governor, as a mother, as a sister and a wife, I am really feeling I'm in a space where we need prayers, but we also need to see our security agencies get serious. We need to see perpetrators being hauled into court, being jailed for life or whatever. So that it works as a deterrent for any other person who could think that the life of a girl 
of a woman, of a child in this country is, is worthless. So asanti sana, askofu mkuu, asanti, na pia my colleague Sakaja, nataka ku add my name to when you start building the church. Remember me, I like to build churches as well, because I believe that is how we get our blessings. Nitasimama na nyinyi. Na kanisa ya divine, God bless you. Tunawapenda sana, I have not felt so much joy in a while. It's been a turbulent time in Kenya, but you have made us feel so good, so positive. And as I have been saying, I think as Kenyans we need to be more positive. Sindio? And as Santi for saying, even the churches need to give us hope as we come to you for hope. Thank you and God bless you. Asante. Asante sana.